Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustak, and today we are here with um, an episode of Managing Ubuntu, where I teach you how to do Ubuntu things. So, today we're going to learn about the terminal. To open the terminal, you can go up here and then click that and then type terminal, or you can press Ctrl Alt T. So, here you can see it says cool person, that's the name of the user, at, and then Ubuntu is the name of the computer, and then a colon, and then this tilde represents the home directory, and then there's a cache sign. And the cache sign means we can type some command. So the commands, they either do something to the computer, they usually run a program, and they can get information about the computer. So for example, let's say I want to list all of the files that's in our home directory. We type in ls. And then we get all of the files and folders. The blue things are folders and the white things are files. Um, another thing we can do is list hidden files. This is something you can't usually do unless there's a special setting set in the regular files browsing. So to um, list regular files, we type in ls hyphen a. And this hyphen a thing, this is not a command, this is called an option. So it modifies the ls command to do something uh, slightly different. So now instead of just listing um instead of just listing the regular files, it also lists hidden files. So we see a bunch of things that we don't usually see. And this dot just represents this directory, and the dot dot represents the last or the directory that contains this directory. So another thing we can do is we can go to the desktop and we do that with CD. Just do CD desktop. And we can list everything that's in the desktop. There's nothing here. That's kind of boring. So we want to go back. So we do CD and then space dot dot to go back to the original directory. As you can see, when we went to the desktop, we, um, the directory here changed. So it's now tilde slash desktop. So now that way you always know where you are in the directories. Um. Another thing you can do is, so let's say we want to list all the files in the this directory and the subdirectories and the sub subdirectories and so on and so forth. So instead of doing CD and then inspecting all of the subdirectories using CD and LS, that's kind of annoying. So I can do LS and then hyphen O. And this basically recursively lists everything. So we can see desktop. This is what's it. The dot represents what's in the regular directory, and then as you can see, all of our subdirectories are empty. So that way we don't need to go through all of them and list everything that's in all of them. We don't need to do CD documents ls, CD downloads ls, CD music ls. Instead we can just do ls hyphen o, and that's really helpful. Um, let's say we want to list all of the things in the subdirectories, including hidden files. We do ls hyphen o and hyphen A, so to combine these two options, we do ju we just do hyphen O A. Okay, so now we can see all of the hidden files. There's a lot of them, obviously. So yeah, so that's basically all the hidden files. And then we can just go back down to the bottom by typing something. So I'll type F, and now we are back at the bottom of the terminal. So I can see we have all of this junk up here. We don't really need all of this junk. So I'm going to type clear. And that just clears the terminal for me. Um, another cool thing is that you can run programs. So let's say we want to run a text editor. Um, usually you go up here and then you type in text editor and then that works. But here everything has like a very specific name. So you need to relearn the names of all the different programs in order to run them in the terminal. So the name for the text editor is called get it. Um, and then I'll just make some text files, for example. So we're making hi.txt. And, and we also want, oh, oops, and we also want to make a hello.txt. Oh, 
Okay, so we're basically done here. So we can go back to our terminal using the Alt tab. And then, as you can see, we can't really type anything because the get is still running. So it's kind of annoying. But you press Control C in order to stop the command. So that's kind of annoying because we can't run get it and the terminal at the same time. But if you want to do that, you can type in get it and then ampersand. And that way, you can run things from the terminal without having to like without it without you having to type in Control C in order to type another command. So we can type commands and run get it at the same time. So now um, we just made two text files. So in order to see them, we type in ls again. Now we can see the new text files we made. Um, let's say we want to move high.txt. It's not high. It's cool. So we can rename it using the move command from high.txt to cool.txt. And type in ls again. And we have, now, again, cool.txt is over here. Um, let's say we want to list all of the text files. To do this, we use the echo command. And basically what echo does is it types back in whatever you give it. So as you can see, we gave it reg digger gvrg, and it printed out reg digger gvrg. So echo can be used to kind of just inspect things. So let's say we want to inspect this tilde. What does this tilde really mean? And as you can see, the tilde really means the home directory, which is slash home slash cool person. So now we know what that tilde means. Um, so to inspect all the text files, we do echo. And then store just basically means everything. So we do echo store, it'll output all the files and stuff. But if we just want to do echo store and then the .txt files, we then do .txt. And that lists all the txt files. I think we can also do like all the desktop files. So basically works for any extension. So now we know we have cool.txt and hello.txt. Um, we, oh, we can also copy files and ca um, see their output. So let's say we want to inspect cool.txt, we use the cat command. And now we know what's in cool.txt. Okay, and the, we can also copy it. So we can copy hello.txt into um, cooler.txt because it's cooler now that there's two copies. So now we do ls again. We still have our hello.txt, but we now also have cooler.txt. If we inspect cooler.txt, it's the exact same as hello. So that's basically how you move and change files. We can also delete files. So let's say we just want to delete all of our txt files. We can do om all.txt. Okay, and that's basically it for that. Okay, so um, else again, and we still have this examples.desktop. So for demonstration, let's say we want to search this examples.desktop. So we can do grep, and then we can just type something in called, let's say, version. So we wanted to look for the word version in examples.desktop. Okay, and you can see it just outputs the line that has the word version in it. So it says version equals 1.0. Let's say we want to search for the word hi. Okay, so there is no hi, so it doesn't give us any output. So let's say we want to search for the word name. Okay, so as you can see, that was a lot. So um, let's say we, instead of doing it like this, we want to output it into a text file, and then we can open the text file using get it in order to see what's in there. So we type in grep uh, name examples.desktop. And then in order to output it into a text file, we do um, a greater than sign, and then the name of the out text file. So I'll call it out.txt. And now we can open this using get it. Okay. Yeah, so now we can use get it to inspect the output of a very long command. So this just helps us inspect out commands that give us a lot of output. So, another command that has a lot of output, and this is something we're going to get into in another episode, is ps, oh, ps hyphen ef. So this lists all of the processes. So you can see that had a lot of output. So we can put 
PSEF. And if you don't know what a process is, that's okay. Basically, it's one thing that's running. But it's basically, this has it's just for demonstration because it has a lot of output. So we can output this into out.txt. And remember, this will override this out.txt. So this is going to be deleted. And instead, we're going to have this. So we can reload this file. And now, instead of listing the name stuff, it lists all of the processes. Again, you don't need to understand this. You just need to understand that this is what this is a bunch of stuff, and we're outputting it into a file. So now, as you can see, we have a bunch of things called root, and then a bunch of other things called... Let me keep going down. So this is the user that's running the process. Daemon, um, message, root... And then cool person, that's us. So let's say we want to see all the um all the processes that we are running. So that so we're cool person. So we want to search this file for cool person. So we can do grep cool person out txt. Oh, because it says cool pull plus, we need to do cool pull plus. In out.txt. Okay, so this gives us all of the processes with uh, our name. So this is all of us. This is the, we're running all of this. So that was. Um, let's say we didn't. Let's say we don't want to create this out.txt. So I'll actually delete out.txt. Okay. So now um, do we do ls? And as you can see, it's gone. So instead of creating this intermediate file, because remember. This basically took two commands. We need to do this, and then we needed to um, switch it. So let's say we want to do all of that in one command. So again, I'm going to delete out.txt. And instead of using this intermediate out.txt file, I'm going to write psef, and that outputs things, and then I'm going to give it to the grep command. So to give it to another command, it's called a pipe, and you type in the vertical character. So you just type in that character. And you might not have used this character before. It is on your keyboard. I guarantee it. Just look f on your keyboard for that vertical absolute value sign character. And then we type in grep. And then again, we're looking for cool per plus. So this does the same thing we wanted to do before. Except now we do not need an out.txt. So if we left our files, there is no intermediate file we need to delete. So now that's kind of convenient. Because we don't need to create all of these intermediate files. And just to combine everything we've learned so far, we can do psef, grep, cool, pull, plus. And then since this had a bunch of output, we can output that into a text file. So now, instead of out.txt being our intermediate file, it's our final version with all of the processes that we're running. Okay. And we reload. And now, instead of having all the processes, it just has the processes run by us, cool person. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too complicated. I will basically give an overview of everything that was in this video in the description, including all of the kind of commands. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Basically, now you have the basics and tools in Bash that you need to use in order to inspect everything. So yeah, I hope this helped and have fun managing Ubuntu.